Puma is now all of a sudden in the basketball footwear. Uh, and they went in big, right? I mean, they, they hired Jay-Z. Uh, they hired a bun- They brought a bunch of players over that uh, was a little bit of an upset. And it really came down to they spent a lot of cash. Yeah, you know, I think they've learned that the world – the world is growing when it comes to sneakerheads and that you know that's what that business world is about the business wars is about is this evolutionary change of how to use icons to sell shoes so you have puma now going in big and using you know a rap star or a musician and a producer like jay-z uh, but you have case swiss that went in with ceos right gary v myself guys just pitching case swiss because ceos look around my office i don't think anyone here is wearing dress shoes anymore no right, right? and so we wear tennis shoes so i think it's a good move uh, i have a good friend andrew schmidt from college that is the P- puma marketing guy and he was the one that came up with the concept of being retro which saved puma remember they started coming out with retro stuff so they went divergent now they made enough money where they can go all in and compete and it's a good time to compete because people are looking for something new in the space well and and when i was listening to the business wars and i reference that because you're on that podcast and you talk about the the battle between nike and adidas and it was at the time adidas was and people people don't remember this because they think nike is the big name in every shoe conversation but at the time Nike was paying tennis players $5,000 just to say, can I get somebody to wear my shoes, right? Yep. Um, Adidas was a, a behemoth in that world. But Puma, you're right. It's a sh- Outside of Ricky Fowler wearing his orange uniform on Sundays, I don't know that I saw anybody wearing I can't recall anyway, right? Doesn't doesn't mean it didn't right. stand out to me. But now to go get uh, DeAndre Ayton, uh, Marvin Bagley, Porter Smith. I mean, uh, they, they spent, what, Three of the top four picks yeah. are now wearing Puma. Yeah, and I think they spent wisely, right? If you look at the total dollars, uh, they're not banking on one player, or one future player, right? It, you can see in golf, Nike, you know, shot themselves in the foot with Rory and, and Tiger. The amount of money that they paid both of those guys, uh, and you had the club debacle, uh, you know, where Puma didn't go in, you know, so heavy, but did really well with Ricky Fowler. I think here, one of those guys is going to be the. the a next key player and they got a bargain. What do you think is the, is, and I know that the LeBron watch is always top priority to you, yeah, you know, being, absolutely. being born in, in that area in Cleveland, right? Which, uh, I just found out Steph Curry was also from that area. I don't know if you knew that he was born in the same hospital as me. So Steph Curry, LeBron James, and the future commissioner. All of the great athletes of the world. Akron were born General, in Akron General Hospital. Yes, sir. Yeah, I saw him on a Faraday episode, and he talked about being born in the same hospital, same room. I think as uh, <laughs> Dave Meltzer. As Dave Meltzer, <laughs> he did bring you up. Yeah. Uh, but so you have the LeBron watch, right? Mm-hmm. And you have the uh, Kawhi Leonard watch, or yeah. uh, what's going to happen there? Obviously, LeBron's the bigger name. Uh, but if you're in LA, who do you want? Both. Right, right. Yeah, which is yeah, possible, enough, right? which is possible. It is possible. Um, so you want quality first, right? Because timing out of any draft that I've seen in a long time, this is the chess chess match draft, right? Because all these pins will fall determinative upon who goes where. So if quality goes to L.A., I think you got a great chance for LeBron to, to go to L.A. as well, because now he can be super competitive and be in the city that he wants to be. And I think if he had his choice of anywhere that he'd like to be, raising his kids and finishing his career, it's Los Angeles. If he wants to win, I think he wants to go to Houston. And if they make the right moves, it could be just stay at home in Cleveland. And, you know, I I was bummed that Trey Young uh, didn't go to the Cavs uh, because I thought that had been really, really interesting for LeBron. Even though they did get a point guard, I don't think – He's a Steph Curry. I think Trey Young is a Steph Curry type of of point guard, and for LeBron to play with Trey, Trey to me not paid that much as a rookie, and still have somebody else there, that'd have been really interesting. It's gonna be a great uh, time watching where these guys fall. Do you think that whole uh, like Steph Curry comp right is? Is even a fair comp anymore? Like, no, because <laughs> I was, <laughs> I was watching, it. right? I was watching uh, the draft, some of the draft coverage, and I heard that a lot, right? Maybe this is an ex Steph Curry, and I kept thinking, it, no. just let's just think about guys that have been at that size, right? Talented, you know, and as talented as Steph Curry is, yeah, I can think of Isaiah Thomas, mm-hmm. Allen Iverson, mm-hmm. Steph Curry, Magic Johnson. Like, 
No, I'm talking about guys Small, that are uh, yeah. six foot two. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they have a lot of magic has a lot of the same qualities, but no. there's not a lot of players that are Trey Young size. And I don't know how how tall is Trey Young. Six two. Six two. Yeah. Right. Uh, so I just I think it's it's convenient to throw him in the Steph Curry. He had a hell of a first half of the year last year at Oklahoma. Yeah. And if he had been able to translate that for an entire year, I would have felt a little bit better. But look, yeah. nobody cared what Steph Curry did at Davidson, right? Right. Exactly. So people do develop. Well, and two, if you can shoot from farther out, what makes Steph Curry so interesting is it doesn't matter how tall he was. He Pulls be, up from half court. Right. He could be Jonte Hall on the Glo- Harlem Globetrotters, five foot one or five foot two, you know, the guy that's too tall. If you could shoot from that far, you know, there's a lot that you can do. And he, I think that Steph Curry has the best touch of any player I've ever seen. Well, already considered one of the great shooters of all, in all time, right? And what's good about him is, remember when the good shooters were just white guys that sat in the corner, right? right yeah. Steph Steve Curry Kirk. can Steve Kerr. Steph Curry can actually uh, get up and down the floor a little bit, but uh, yeah. at, at one point that was the case. Now, so if if you let's put your parent hat on, right? And ten years from now, Miles is oh. one year. <laughs> He's gonna go to what? He's gonna go to Kentucky for one year. He's grown 19 inches at this point. Yeah, and uh, he's gonna go one year, and then he's gonna go to the NBA. Uh, do you want him to get that one year experience so that he has something that he goes back to, or do you say, "Look, I don't go I, make buckets." Look, I'm struggling. We talk about this in esports. You know, Miles is a killer Fortnite player at at eight years old. I'm watching and I'm asking the older kids, and they're coming over the 17 year olds saying, "You know, Miles." He's amazing. And, you know, I was like, in my head, what, what am I go pro? Like, I'm thinking this kid makes a million and a half a month. I'm thinking, God, you know, I know he's not going to be six foot nine. Six feet would be a blessing and a miracle, most likely. And beyond that, I know how difficult it is to be a professional athlete in the, in the risks of injury and focus. And like, there, there's something to be said of me developing what he's good at and he can all the cool thing about esports is I can make him go to college and play. <laughs> right? right. It's probably better for him because there'll be more people to play with. Uh, but moreover, no doubt, if I have my son, I would tell him go to the minor leagues in baseball, go go play uh, basketball right out of high school, all that stuff to me. And because I'm a realist and there's so much online learning. I didn't expect that from you. When I hear Gary V say it, this is a guy who, like me, kind of skated through school and got by with just enough, right? Yeah, well, five years ago, I would have told you differently. I just think that because of By what the way, co- you have about 40 interns that all graduated from some college. Yeah, graduate <laughs> within, schools. Right, and, within and 15 leagues. feet of us, right? Yeah, Ivy Leagues. No, look, if, if you're not that great... You know, if he's not going to be the next Nitro, if he's not going to be the next Dennis Rodman, thank goodness. Uh, if he's not going to be Trout, you know, if, he, if, if he's not recruited, college is an awesome experience. And it's a great place to find out who you are. And but, meet girls. Yeah, meet, and meet girls and boys, whatever you want to do. But what I'm into is, look, if you're hyper-focused as an entrepreneur, I'm going to tell you not to go to college. I'm going to tell you, look, learn how, you know, apprentice with somebody that is an entrepreneur Learn online, exactly. If you're a coder, right, code. You know, if that's what you want to do, and that's what you love. Like, you got to be passionate about it. But if you're trying to find yourself and become educated, you know, and my daughter's a great example. You know, straight-A student, could go anywhere, got a scholarship, you know, to go to college. And half of what she's there for is socialization. She's learning how to get along with others, live with other people, live on her own, those are all important things, and I think college provides you a great opportunity to find yourself. And look, I'm I'm for it as a as a dad. I'm hoping that's the direction right. my son goes. Right, and and I'm sure too. with four kids, it's a good fallback plan. But it is interesting because when whether you believe in ten thousand hours or, or whatever it is to necessarily become an expert, starting those ten thousand hours earlier is start better than starting them later. Right, Absolutely. so consistent, persistent enjoyment of the pursuit of your potential. If let's you're expand clear on, on that because th- th- we have we have Todd in and, and yeah. Todd's uh, doing some Fortnite stuff with us and some esports, but he loves that. Where did that come from? It came from my understanding of how things exponentially accelerate in your life, and what the idea is is that if you do stuff every day, it, the ten thousand new inputs or data every day goes to your cellular structure, your conscious mind, right? What you think, say, and do. 
If you do it every day, it then goes into your subconscious, 40,000 of the same thoughts, which change your neural pathways that creates a Wait, vision. you go from 10,000 to 40,000. Yeah, so 10,000 new, 10, new thoughts, 40,000 of the same thoughts every day. Okay. They sit in your subconscious, and they attract the 10,000 new things that come to you, and we're subconsciously doing that. And that's why people are like, God, I keep changing what I'm thinking, saying, and doing, but I keep getting the same results. Even furthermore, those neural pathways that are formed that create efficiencies, effectiveness, and statistical success create an unconscious competency. It's unconscious. It's a stream of energy that flows through your DNA, your individual fingerprint on life. And if I can shift through consistency, Every day. So two minutes of meditation worth more than an hour a week. Let me use golf, your favorite example. I would rather have someone be completely focused every day for 30 minutes training with the right mentorship, 30 minutes a day, than playing golf six hours on a weekend one day. They will be exponentially better at golf. The guy who plays six hours on Saturday may either be equal to or even less than he was a year from now. But there's no way a guy who trains 30 30 minutes completely focused with the right mentorship every day will not be exponentially better at golf than somebody that does six hours in a week. Even though it's less time, it's only three and a half hours that you're working, you'll get exponential results. All right. Well, hey, this has been The Blender. Thank you for listening. Join us again next week. 